Hello everybody, my name is Marco Di Sere. I am a professor in power electronic and head of the chair of power electronic at the University of Kiel and I want to present to you a very special initiative. This battery laboratory which we have in Kiel is something very special. Here we have competencies in the field of material science, that means that we develop here exactly new batteries, for example based on silicon technology, which are specifically very light and uh, very well uh, suited for a transportation sector, like for example electric flight or also electric autos, and from other side we also develop power electronic conversion system based on new device like silicon carbide and gallium nitride which are perfect actually to integrate the silicon batteries in, the, in a vehicle and take the best out of them. For example, if you need to combine this battery with other uh, energy system like fuel cell or supercapacitor to really make it possible electric flight, for example. So in the following, uh, two uh, researchers which are working in this laboratory will present some of the uh, results and we will really would be happy to uh, uh, get some from you some uh, email expressing your interest and we can explain you even more what we are doing here. Here in our research, we try to combine battery development with the power electronics, like looking what is behind the battery after we build them, how to implement it to the net and how to build those devices. Here in our chair, we try to develop novel electrodes for lithium ion or lithium sulfur batteries, especially going into the materials and replacing common anode and cathode materials. One of the standard anode material, for example, is graphite, which has a very low capacity. In this anode, we try to replace with silicon. Silicon is one of the most promising anode materials available, having much more than 10 times higher capacities. One of the typical problems of this material when you want to implement it really in lithium ion batteries is their large volume expansion. This volume expansion is of an order of 400%, like increasing really a lot the volume, inducing large mechanical stresses to the anodes. And this is one of the common problems. Therefore, it is not that available right now already in the industries. Here in our chair, we developed with our mechanical engineers and collaboration partners a very large novel machine where we can solve the problem of typical anode materials by nanostructuring or microstructuring the silicon. And like this, it is possible to maintain the good mechanical stability of this anode and can really implement it in lithium ion batteries. This machine is a really novel technique and has the advantage to not only have really small areas, but growing large area, like in a pre-standard version. So we have also large areas for the anodes for the later on industrial implementation and cooperation with industry partners. In the second way, we also replace standard cathode materials and go further in the direction of sustainable materials where we implement sulfur methods and sulfur cathodes, which has as a full cell, if we both combine both electrodes, the potential to really double or triple nowadays energy densities of common lithium ion batteries. And by doing this, we are using different techniques to analyze it in our interdisciplinary research area with young researchers with novel techniques to further increase our knowledge of our research, of the industry and of our electrodes. A multi-wind transformer based DC to C converter, also called M2B DC to C converter, consists of several cells connected to the same multi-wind transformer. In this modular architecture, the multi-wind transformer performs an important role to establish the high frequency link among each cell of the M2B converter in order them to compose the overall uh, power convert. In this case, each winding of the multi-winding transform produces an individual port that can be interconnected in different uh, connections, like series, parallel, and independent. As a result, 
the magnet coupling of the multi-wire transformer allows the M to be converted and connect, interconnect multiple sources and loads, like in e-mobility that you have supercapacitor, battery, and full cell. And with this kind of topology, it's suitable to make the proper link among them.